Getting ready for the next generation. Next generation. Next generation. Ready for the next generation. I am more than ready for the next generation uh, uh, as, uh, uh, as I have been 40 years in the industry. Uh, I have two sons. Needless to say, I can play a lot of golf now because they are actually doing very well. I think the next generation will be better with their changes. They've, they've realized their weaknesses and they've, they've brought out things that will make us more competitive in the marketplace. I think it's amazing to see the multi-generational families that are still in this business and continue to pass the torch. And it's great that some of the parents are still as passionate about our business and continue to pass that, that passion on to their children. Ready for the next generation for me means to start getting prepared uh, to pass the baton on to other family members coming up through the business, uh, be it kids or nephews or grandkids. Ready for the next generation, it's, I mean, it's saying, okay, I'm passing the baton on to you as the next generation of leaders within ExxonMobil. I'm passing the baton on to you as the next leaders of our various distributors. I'm now building the relationship with you know, maybe the son of the patriarch or maybe the grandson of the patriarch. And while we have learned a lot, being ready for the next generation is taking that knowledge between the two of us and using our knowledge and our abilities to grow the ExxonMobil brands out in the street for the foreseeable future. I think it really means ready for the next generation of fueling. It's going to be different with the majors not in the marketplace anymore, either on a direct serve basis or on a company operated basis. It's going to change the whole landscape for the first time in a long time that, that ExxonMobil is making a directional change in how they're going to continue forward in the future. We haven't seen a change like this in any major oil company in a long time. And I think that the reason it's probably been kept quiet for so long is because they really wanted to be first with this new era of how distributors should operate in the future. We are in a very capital intensive in, uh, you know, industry and the model that we have used for these last several years is one that, that we're finding difficulty with that model. So adjustments are going to have to be made in order for the generations ahead to be able to continue to stay in this business and justify the investment that's there and the risk that's taken in making those investments. You know, as we look forward and, and try to answer the question, you know, are we ready for the next generation, it, it's going to require some change. I do know that. It makes this project even more important as we look forward and think, are we posturing ourselves uh, to really be attractive uh, to, to a new generation of folks out there that seem to make decisions differently than we did? And uh, the more we know about that generation, the better prepared we'll be. Understanding the overall shift in the U.S. from a population standpoint, from an ethnicity base, it's been very helpful to seek new entrepreneurs, be it Hispanic customers, African American customers, general market customers. It's imperative that we have strong branded distributors that can respond to the changing marketing dynamics that are going on in every single part of the country. And with this brand value proposition that we're working on, our goal is to take our marketing organization to the next level. It's all about making the business model work, it really is. And we have to have you know, top quality stores, we have to have top quality brands, and we have to execute. And I think this is a long ways towards getting that direction. What we want to really focus on is technology that's going to be cost effective. And it's going to add value to both the Exxon and Mobil brands as well as to the distributor and to the distributor dealer. Ready for the next generation for the support organization is to ensure that we have processes and programs in place to make your interface with ExxonMobil as transparent and effortless as possible. Looking to the future, it is going to be more and more important for our distributors to be creative um, in order to attract consumers. In getting ready for the next generation, it is important that we stay focused on our consumers and make sure that we're providing programs that will keep them coming back to Exxon and Mobil stations. Given the evolution of the unbranded market and the growth in that sector, it really is critical that we as Exxon Mobil continue to build out our loyalty programs. Moving forward, we want our card products to be unique and to differentiate ourselves. We certainly want our products to allow you as distributors to pick Exxon Mobil as your brand of choice. Ready for the next generation means to me that 
we are not waiting to see what's going to come down the pipe. Uh, we are in the forefront of what's happening with legislation, uh, with product movements and supply chain. And as a manager of the distributor pricing group, that I bring the best talent, the best resources, the clearest vision and focus to develop great strategies that deliver of competitive price uh, every day. One of the most important things for us going forward is to establish a sense of collaboration with our distributors. Uh, you know, sharing our knowledge, sharing our experiences, we'll need their input, we'll need their help on that to be sure that when we do go to the field, we have a successful program. Ready for the next generation, since I have uh, four children active in the business, and we started the business from ground zero, we think of it meaning that what we do today, will it support our children and our grandchildren down the road? Does ExxonMobil have the capability to support in both volume, image, and technology our growth plans as it relates to the development of our markets? ExxonMobil is prepared to make that commitment to us. ExxonMobil has a legitimate interest in seeing us succeed. One of the things that I've learned uh, throughout my tenure in distributor business from various levels of management is that I've always been reminded that our distributors do have a choice, which is why we consistently need to be superb uh, with our fuel calls, we need to be superb in our analytical skills, we need to deliver the most to our customer. And that's why I'm excited about this value proposition study, because I firmly believe that with this study, that we are still going to be the brand of choice with these distributors going forward. My motto is, if they succeed, we succeed.